So our project came forth of a discussion with Olivia, one of the PhD students of Melody, who uses Python or used Python to do uh, text and image analysis. And one of the things she says, I really liked it, but I don't really know when I do programming where to continue with, with, uh, with lessons and with development. And we started talking about it a bit further that we have many nice software and data carpentry lessons. Uh, some of them are slightly the same, some of them can be put in different orders. And it would be nice if you're either a student or a teacher that you get to rearrange these lessons or that you can pinpoint the lesson and see what the uh, prerequisites or what we call post requisites or lessons outcomes are and use these to tie lessons together. Even more so, does this work? It would be nice if you can have like a graph like representation of this and we started looking for someone. And as an example, we come with Duolingo. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, but it is a phone app that allows you to learn new languages. They have a very nice way in which you can do certain things. So as an example here, you have to do the basics before you can get to the more advanced French skills. But for instance, you could work on food and animal words uh, apart from each other. It would be nice if we could actually uh, start using ontology and interoperable skills on the software carpentry lessons and actually point the vision inside the whole carpentries. Because I tried to go into the, um, the lessons and I didn't find anything, uh, didn't find everything as fair as I would expect it to be. So this might be a very nice challenge to make software carpentry and data carpentry lessons fair again. Uh, so for that, I think we're looking to, for people who know how to scrape these directories, someone with some visualization skills on making nice graph or tree light structures. And since we, it, the carpenters are very proud of doing this in a very educational, responsible way, I think if you have any ideas on how to keep the educational content of these lessons up to a certain standard, your input would be very much welcome. Thank you.